Okay, so this is a very quick look at Rate Limain Nginx. Uh, usually if I'm working on Rate Limain, I would either be doing it in Cloudflare, they've got a really nice support for it, the sort of web application firewall level, uh, or alternatively, sometimes in the application itself, if it's something that's maybe built on Laravel, it's dead simple. Um, but in this example, we're gonna look at Magento 2. Uh, the Rate Limain support in Magento isn't quite there yet. Um, so if we look at the homepage here, I uh, can refresh it at Rake of Times and uh, it's not going to trigger the rate limiting. Um, so it wouldn't necessarily be the homepage that we'd look to add it on, but there's some API calls behind the scenes that we would like to rate limit. Or if we're using some third party extensions uh, that don't have rate limiting turned on, we might want to do that, especially if they're resource hungry, because we don't want anyone triggering a URL to be able to pull down the site. Um, now it's dead simple to get started. First of all, open up your uh, virtual host file in Nginx. Um, and you sudo. Uh, so at the top of the file, you're going to want to add uh, your mapping information. So to talk you through it, you've got, um, you know, what you're going to map, the rate you're going to map it at. Obviously, status code should be four two nine. Uh, so we're going to change this to be five requests every minute so we can trigger it really easily. Uh, in fact, we might even want to make that 20. Um, and then below here, so we're using a map. The reason we're using a map in Nginx is that by default, um, if you add rate limit, it'll be applied to everything within a location block. Then that doesn't give you much granularity. If you're only looking to add rate limit on particular URLs to stop like the resource hungry ones, and then you want to be able to just take the URI, like what is new, uh, and target that individually. Okay, and then next up, we want to edit our. Um, our location block. In this uh, scenario, I've got a location block in a separate Nginx file uh, for Magento, and we're going to want to find the main entry point to the application. And at the top of here, uh, add the zone that we want it to be applied to. Um, so the rate limit won't apply to the other sort of location blocks we've got. So we've got a separate location block for all our image files. They won't be impacted. It's only everything that's getting rooted through index, basically, uh, and anything else that matches. But in this case, it's mainly index. So save it. Uh, make sure the Nginx can be restarted. And we'll do a full restart because we can. OK, so we're on the home page still. We haven't added any mapping to the home page. So we expect just to be able to refresh this. And it's not going to trigger any rate limiting, no matter how often we refresh it. So then if we go to what's new, um, that was one page we did add rate limiting to. And already we've triggered the too many requests because we set it so low. Um, so like I was saying, the real world scenarios wouldn't be to apply it to your front end web page. It's more those back end API calls or if you've got a resource hungry third party application that you've installed on your site. Those are the ones you've got to really watch out for that Magento doesn't have brilliant support in solving out of the box. Um, I still would recommend that if you've got something like Cloudflare properly installed, you should just configure it at the Cloudflare level if you've got the budget and the, the means to do so. Um, but Nginx uh, rate limiting does work, as you can see, and it is a nice solution to have in your toolbox.